Today's cardio hike is Topanga State Park at Trippet Ranch. We're going to be heading up to Eagle Rock. Okay, before our hike, let's be sure we have a few necessary items. I want to make sure we have the cardio watch. That's what part of this recording is about, is cardio. In case we get hurt or stranded, we have a uh, solar powered recharger. We have plenty of water and you might want to make sure you have some uh, sunscreen of some sort and a bug repellent. I found this to be a really good one. It works. And for those who want to save their skin from aging, you might want to bring yourself a, a hat to protect yourself. I use it mostly for that but also so that I can do the recording and see the screen in the sunlight. And if you'd like to save yourself $5 per two hours of parking, you can park along Entrada Road. From that street crossing back there, we follow this road in to Topanga State Park. We'll just pass on through past that stop sign. Of course, you could take this road right of the one-way sign. We're going to take the left road down, get ourselves prepared for the hike. All right, when you come here, you could actually bring the family. They do have barbecues, believe it or not, in such a fire hazard area. Nice picnic areas. We'll show a little bit more of that before the hike. But uh, that's the direction we will be heading into. Okay, so technically this is Topanga State Park. They also have a secondary name of Trippet Ranch. All right. And there's a number of things that uh, you'll come across. Lots of plant life and animal life. But right here are some of the plant life you can expect to come across. And we'll come back to this map here. We're going to be taking the main hike up. Uh, at some point, if there's time, like I said, I'm going to veer off to a trail that goes off to the right. And all right, uh, stopping off at this station, I'm going to show you some of the animal life that they say lives up here. I haven't seen a snake. I hope I don't. Um, be careful of ticks. I understand that uh, you can get those walking through the brush. Alright. Now out of all these animals I have ever, that I see on this list, the only one I've ever run into are the mule deer, luckily. Alright, the main feature of this hike is Eagle Rock, which is two miles. Uh, you can bring your bike, but not a motorized vehicle. Dogs are not allowed on the park trails. Although, I have seen people do that. Doesn't seem to be an issue. Alright, we're going to... Eventually, we're heading this way. And we're going to curve around and go up to that top of the hill. Right in between, at the middle of the screen. First, let's set up the cardio watch. All right, I've only got two hands. I'm going to set up the cardio watch. I'm going to be pushing that gray button at the bottom. And it cycles through. Can you see that? Cycling through. All right. 119%. That's pretty high. Haven't even done anything yet. I'm going to push the button one more time. All right, and then the upper right button, I have to push it twice to get it to calories. Okay, I've pushed the button twice to get it to calories. We're at 114% of target heart rate. And with me, uh, as you've heard in separate videos, my target heart rate is 135%. Right now, my cardio watch is at... Can you see it? 
145 percent of target heart rate which for me is 135 okay after following that trail you get to the top here they call it the latitude and now it shows us that Eagle Rock is 1.8 miles to the left uh, technically east and you could take this trail it connects with that other trail I was talking about earlier and that empty field there as well as inside those trees which the trail we just came up turns to the left on the right side of that trail these trees and that empty field are the three of the five places I've ever seen any of the deer all right so we're heading basically east making a left-hand turn and we're heading up to the Eagle Rock all right as the grade we're on starts to incline at this point I want to show that I'm at 143 percent of my target heart rate and so far hit 116 calories and I'm only into 10 minutes of the hike beats cardio machine that's for sure okay as we're heading up that same trail I thought I'd give you a little glimpse at the grade or uphill climb that is expected at certain parts of this hike okay and we're also at the Santa Inez trail and I'm gonna try to hold this camera still and do a close-up right at the V of those mountains is what we're aiming for that is the ocean and I can see there's a sailboat there in the distance I don't know if you can see it so I'll give you a glimpse of that we're gonna get a better view of that ocean once we hit Eagle Rock still heading up on that same slope and this is uh, where I'd like to tell you you see when I first did this hike I go oh there's that little curve I'll go up to that curve and once I hit the top I'll decide whether or not I'm gonna go further and it's probably at the top of the hill you know there's just some bushes here the hill doesn't look like it's gonna be that big however when you get inside you go oh god there's a whole another stretch to go all right see here we get to this top suddenly more mountain <laughs> way in the distance and if you can see that light beige line horizontal line that's where we're heading now and we're gonna think wow we made it to the top when we get over here that's not the story okay now we came up pretty much to the top of that last path here that looked like it was going to level out and it did however you come around the corner and you see this a whole another upgrade cardio now, i want to explain something here my cardio watch right now let's die down a little bit here it says 140 hopefully you can see it's 291 calories I hope you can see that up in the upper right the flashing one is my target heart rate it says that I'm hitting my target heart rate uh, I'm at 140 I only need to be 135 never do harder cardio than you need to it doesn't change it's once you hit your target heart rate then you can balance out All right now so far we're only 23 
minutes into this hike and we've almost hit Two hundred, three hundred calories. It just clicked. Okay. Now, in twenty minutes, we hit what normally you would get on, say, an elliptical or possibly the treadmill. I use the elliptical machine; it's safer. So, after thirty minutes of cardio, there, you're lucky to hit three hundred calories if you know what you're doing. Uh, I just hit three hundred in twenty minutes. So. One of the things you want to consider is what cardio to do to get you the most calories burnt in the less amount of time. I thought I'd give you another shot of the, uh, the beach out there. So I want to remind you that no matter what calorie count you reach when you've done your exercise or cardio, you have to divide that by four. It's a good rough figure. You see, if you burn 300 calories, that doesn't mean it all came from body fat. You gotta divide that by four. If I'm not mistaken, that roughly is like 80, 80 plus. 80 plus would be subtracted from your 3,500 calories of one pound of body fat. And that's roughly how you can figure it out. That way, you don't give up. You start to realize just how much work you have to do to get the body fat off. Uh, I thought I'd give you a quick scenery, but the main feature here are these platelets, I think they're called. And see how they move upward in this sloping. That's where the earth runs into itself and so some of this rock and debris have to move in a different direction usually up and usually the other side goes down this is part of the cycle of earthquake so i give you a, a view of that again okay, we're going to head on up the rest of this hill okay I thought I'd stop here and let you see how rugged the terrain is. As you can see, we're going up another slope, another grade. We are now, or I am, hopefully I can see it. Uh, I should say 155, 156 target heart rate and 425 calories so far and we are 32 minutes into our hike all right so we're going to head on up that way i'll show you our destination you should be able to see it in the distance coming up soon Okay, I reached the other plateau of that uphill grade I just pointed out. Thought I'd stop here and show you where our destination is. Our destination is that big boulder out there in the middle of the screen. You can kind of see some flat land, if I can get my finger, it goes around here. That's a trail that goes around and goes around this hump and comes out and you get to walk on that boulder. Believe it or not, there are people on that boulder right now. I'm trying to hold this as still as I can. And you can't see them. That's how far this rock is because the people are so tiny. I see them there hanging off the front end of it over here on this side, right about there. Because there is a spot, which I won't be going to, that you can go. It's a little cave that's within that rock. Uh, well, a little hole more or less. Okay, so let's continue. Okay, you see that the uh, hill or the path is giving us a downhill slope, which is always good for the cardio. The idea of cardio is to get your heart rate up to your target heart rate and then let it come down a little bit. Right now, uh, well, it was at 120. Let's see if I can get the light to shine. There you go. 
So it's at 135, but it, it jumped up. I, I had it at 125 when I was walking. And the calorie count looks like a five, 521. Did I get the sun shining good? There you go. All right. And we are, you know, 40 minutes. Get the shine. 40 minutes into our workout. Or our, our, our cardio hike, I mean. And that's pretty good to hit uh, that much, that many uh, calories in short period of time. If you were on a treadmill, well, I can't speak for treadmills, but if you were on an elliptical machine, to hit 600 calories, you'd have to be on it for pretty much a full hour. And this is much more enjoyable. Okay, we're coming up to another fork in the road. Now, to get to Eagle Rock, we will take that path that's going up the hill. Let's take a look at our cardio. It looks like we're at 135, if I can get the light right. And how many calories? We've hit 570, almost 570 calories in just a few more minutes from the last time we checked. All right, let's go. Stop and show you this worker ant. Look at this. That big piece of food or whatever he's got, or she. Where'd he go? Lost track, I can't see it. Well, that's a hard worker ant. <laughs> yeah, I thought I'd let you see how much of a grade this trail has. It is steep. Oh, my heart rate's 155. All right, up around that bend, uh, we get some shade finally. And the cardio watch says, if I'm trying to get it on this picture, it says 150 uh, with, ooh, it's like 640 calories. I don't know if I can get it on the watch or not. I mean, uh, on the recording. Anyway, this trail, it goes up, straight up, and then go a little bit to the left. It'll go around that big hill, and there's our destination. This is called Eagle Rock. Now, the city of Eagle Rock has one too, but it looks like an eagle's beak and head. But they call this one Eagle Rock. This is the one in Topanga. So if you can hold this straight still enough so you can get a good look. Uh, what you can see is, where's my finger? Right there, there's a tree right underneath that big rock there. And I believe that's kind of a cave where you can sit in there. See if I have any guts to get in that thing so you can see it. All right, and this is facing northeast. Okay, I wanted to point something out to you. When you see your target heart rate this high, uh, it was at 159 a second ago, over the 135 that I need, that's when you need to really rest. Uh, again, like I was telling you, there's the trail we just came from. <laughs> like I was trying to tell you, in other videos I've done, as well as I th earlier in this one, uh, Hit your target heart rate. Please, don't don't go crazy over it. You know, uh, one's 135 to 140 is good for me. You know, five, maybe seven percent over my target heart rate. Because you're not gonna burn more calories faster per se, but it's gonna make you, uh, it's gonna damage your thinking pattern in the way of, this is just too excruciating. So if you just hit your target heart rate and then bring it back down to 125 in my case, and then bring it back up to 135. So that way you're not overdoing it and talking yourself out of doing more cardio in the future. All right, we're almost at our destination. Okay, we're coming up to the gate of our destination which is right up that little slope that you can't see yet. We're gonna take a look at our cardio, what time it is, and give you an update on the uh, temperature. All right, so we head this way. You can see now that's not the rock. 
All right, here we go. It's called Eagle Rock right there. As we come up to the grid, we get to have a seat for a moment and reflect on why we're here. <laughs> well, for me, it's lose body fat. Uh, there's the little slope we just came up. And here's a section of Eagle Rock from the northern side. Earlier, what you saw was the western side of it. Uh, all right, pretty big. Let me give you an idea of how far of a fall from here it would be. We can. All right, I'm gonna do a little, get you an idea there. And we'll focus in, zoom. So I keep, you figure, past that tree in that shadow right there that's where it continues to the ground yeah all right and although you can't really tell from here this little crevice in here this blue that's the ocean LA ocean all right you got a little overcast out there all of this where's my finger all of this that my fingertip is touching, that little triangle. All right, that's all ocean. All right, now we're coming back over here to Eagle Rock. We're gonna get up on it in a second. Okay, let's take a look at our cardio watch. All right, I'm gonna get, okay, it's 142, well, we drop down to 141% of my target heart rate. The calorie count, if you can see, is 803. No, if I can get the shade just right, but it's 803. The amount of time it took to get us here is one hour exactly. Uh, we're gonna head down the trail to get to the rock. Now, normally when I've done this run, it usually takes about an hour, 50 minutes sometimes, and I usually hit, almost always hit 500 calories. This time I'm hitting 800 calories. This is a plus having an extra 300. Now, I don't know what causes that per se. I have to assume it has something to do with sleep, uh, foods, maybe some spices, something that I ate. One day when I figured that out, I'll pass that on to you. Camera's bouncing around because I'm trying to climb down these little tiny rocks to get to the big one. I just reached the upper part of the rock. Uh, I might go inside that V. To the right of it is a small cave. Nothing big, just something you can sit in. See if anyone else is already in it. What I really want to show you is where we came from. All right. From what you can see anyway in this video of where we came from, way back past that mountainside. And realistically, where's my finger? Somewhere back here, the hill goes down. Somewhere way back here is where we started in the parking lot. All right, so this isn't a, a short run. Now that's the only, uh, well, long downhill climb. And then as you can see, you come around, where's my finger again? You come around this, this big patch here of stone and it comes out here and then you start coming along this path here and then you run into this bit of mountain and on the other side comes that path to here and up the rock up the stone all right let's see let's take a look and see if anyone's in there all right we're coming up to the v to the uh, cave right here See if anyone's in it. All right, looks like we're here by ourselves. I'm not surprised, really. Only an idiot like myself would come up in a hike like this, and in uh, 85, nearly 89 degree weather. All right, out there is the beach again. And earlier, 
you might remember that last fork in the road I told you about. Well, it goes this way and around and then around, it disappears. I don't want to tell you its secrets just yet. Okay, let me show you part of what the fall would look like. Yeah, zooming in there. Hopefully I'm getting the right area. There we go. Way down there. You probably still hear the scream from up here though. Oh, who's that? That's the idiot that decided to hike up here. Now, the trail you saw earlier that's facing away from this rock and this one going through here, this one is a great trail. It actually, if you have the endurance to go that far, um, it'll take you to the Nike base, the Nike missile base, which is on one of my other recordings. You can check that out. Okay, give you an idea of the edge of the rock in the distance. So I'm afraid I'm gonna drop my camera, but it's a ways down there. Thought I'd get this view, because one day someone is gonna fall off this thing, and they are probably going to put fencing up. I'm coming off that little platform that I was laying on to show you the uh, cliff. Well, it's one thing that <clears throat> that concerns me that I do think about is when you're close to the edge and you're on a boulder. I mean, rocks aren't exactly <laughs> rocks aren't exactly one piece. And this is earthquake territory. And if you're up there and we have an earthquake, who knows, it could crack, and you'd be flying yourself down there. The caretaker of an eighth of a boulder. All right, I don't feel as much the fool since other people are up here. I think this is, well, if you count them individually, the third person I've seen up here. All right, to recap, all right, with walking around that top of that boulder, get some sunlight here, uh, we hit, 987 calories. I hope you can see that there. I'm at 145% of my target heart rate, which is very fascinating since the fact is, is um, all I've done is walk up to the top of the hill like they did and come back down. So what I've learned in most of the hikes that I've done, that whatever the calorie count, once I reach my destination, the good chance you're gonna hit half or just under half that when you reach the destination of where you came from. So I'm figuring, it says, oh, it's almost nine, uh, I'm sorry, a thousand calories now. Oh uh, God, it's like really popping. Uh, this is a surprise to me. I don't know if you can see that. It looks a little blurred, hold on. Nope. Oh, there you go, okay. so. Uh, I'm gonna go with the 800 calories because you gotta remember most of this particular hike is mostly downhill. A little bit of uphill, but nothing spectacular. Um, most of it was uphill coming here. Uh, so if I go with the 800, half of that is 400. So I figure I'll hit another 300 calories by the time I hit down to the parking lot. Um, so roughly. Uh, since we're at a thousand calories now, if I'm lucky enough to get 300, we, we should hit, I'll take a wild guess and see what it is at the bottom, but I'll take a wild guess that I'm gonna hit 1300 calories, and that's pretty darn good, except remember, I gotta divide it by four, and that is the only amount that comes from the body fat. The rest is the energy it took to get your body to move and do all these things in the first place. So keep that in mind. All right, we're gonna head back. Maybe if there's some deer down below when we get down there, I'll get some pictures of those too. Thought I'd give you another glimpse at our new destination. It's right down there, you can barely see it. It's 
the parking lot. I'm not parked in it, but that's at least where I have to go. Okay, and for that on the destination, we have been going downhill. Um, it looks pretty good. We're hitting 137% um, of my target heart rate. Hopefully you can see, oh my God, it's 1,366 calories so far. And as you can kind of tell, we're only halfway. <laughs> so we're going to keep going. All right, let's take another check of the cardio watch. Oh, look. Hey, any honey? No honey? Oh. All right. Okay, cardio watch is at, I'm kind of surprised it's at 135. Well, I'm sorry, 131 it was. It's now hitting uh, 129. There we go. Hopefully you can see it. I don't know. It's getting some sun. There you go. Okay, hopefully you can see it. Okay. Yeah, we're back up to 135. We're hitting 1466 on the calorie count. It's pretty darn good for me. Uh, like I said, my heart rate was pretty high when I began this, so that's probably why I got away with the extra, I'll say, 400 calories. Okay, and when we checked the cardio, we were an hour and 57 minutes uh, at the end of our hike. Uh, I wanted to show this. You see this um, foliage. Did I say that right? Um, that's almost, uh, almost well, waist deep. And um, it's probably why we're not seeing any uh, deer up here. But this is where I've seen them in the past. And I guess it has more to do with the uh, close, coming winter time. So when the heat dies down, um, get a little bit of rain, stuff will turn green and those guys will come out here in hordes. I've seen up to five or six of them in a in a group and I'll tell you they, they can get big. I mean we're talking horse big so it's someone you want to kind of keep away from. Uh, don't don't startle them or anything but they're so majestic and fun to watch though you know well if you're some sort of a fool like me I enjoy that stuff. All right we're heading down towards the parking lot. I am parked outside of the parking lot, so it'll take me a little longer to get to the car. And as you enter the parking lot, let me show you the rates for parking here. All right, you got the California State Park day use fee area, please pay here. All right, your hourly rate is $3 an hour. All right, so that's something you might want to consider bring enough cash for however long you're going to stay here uh, and you'll use the uh, machine let's see it takes card of course and I don't know if that's I guess that's for the receipt so it doesn't take coin oh yes it does okay all right let's look at the scenery while I kind of tell you some last uh, tips thoughts uh, if you see anything running across the field those are not squirrels they're chickmunks um, the thing is is that when I do my cardio I attempt to do mine without eating that I eat at the night before and then when I get up at some point I go and do my cardio now it's argued that uh, you're not going to lose more body fat this way but I have to say with what I understand about how the body works um, I could argue that because, you know, when you're lost on an island or the desert, which hopefully never happens, um, you know, your body can feed off the body fat for a certain term, you know, a couple weeks. Now, your muscle is protein, so your body needs protein too, so it'll take a little bit of that. Now, your body fat is, well, mostly um, carbs, all right? So it's going to take from those carbs, um, which is stored fat. And that's what you're trying to do is get rid of the stored fat. If you go and eat and do cardio, that's okay. But consider the fact that you'd probably lose more body fat and a little bit sooner overall if you're able to get yourself in a position where you can, uh, you know, eat at night, get a good night's rest, 
and get up at some point and get to the gym and do your cardio or do it at home you know okay as we get to the car oh god isn't this a beautiful car love classic okay anyway uh let's take one last look at the cardio watch see where we're at let's see if it shows all right all right, just getting to the car, which is outside the parking lot. I'm hitting 136 calories, or excuse me, 136 um, heart rate, percentage heart rate. And looks like I'm at 1,674 calories. So that was a pretty good run. Let's go over to the bench. I've got some last comments I'd like to uh, talk about. Yeah, those are restaurants. Well, I hope you enjoyed the hike. Hope you'll do, try it sometime. A um, little hard to get to. I'll try to put a map directions because uh, you got to make a sharp left turn off of Topanga Boulevard, halfway to PCH1. Um, my videos are going to be of hiking, exercise, even some cooking. Um, there's just anything that's in the air, things that I hear about. So it'll be a big variety. So I hope you'll subscribe. I hope you'll click that you like this video. And uh, hope to see you on the next one.